Ahoy, and welcome back to the Shadowrun Podcast. My name is Jeremy. I will once again be your GM and your host. We're going to be getting... Starting with this one in just a moment, but I wanted to let you know about a couple of things on this. First, with this episode, we are dealing with some sound effects. Please, if they are too much, let me know. I will adjust it going forward. Secondly, we're going to start this episode out a little bit differently with a little bit of the pre-game chatter around the table. Just so you guys get a chance to hear some of what the microphone wasn't present for. That's just a, a quick recap of some of the other missions. As always, we record in front of a live Meeple audience. If you are interested in checking that out, heckling us, or dropping by for a milkshake, come on down to the Malted Meeple in Hudson, Ohio. Check out more information on the Matrix at MaltedMeeple.com. Further ado, we're going to get started. Hold on tight for a little class. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Barely. I know Humanus was the last one I was here. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. Or that's you guys tried to stop me from bringing the Humanus uh, leader. The last time well, I was here. Technically, last if we want to go on the thing, it's not eight for us. Guys. Due to the fact <laughs> we, had, we had completed our mission. Right. It's not my fault he opened up his mouth at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to warn Aaron uh, the next time that he, uh, he, he, he plays in my game that uh, him, I, I, myself, and the other Aaron who runs have different interpretations of how Humanus works. Um, yeah. And because he has an interpretation that like they don't like magic at all, and I think that they... I don't think Humanus cares too much about Yeah, they, they I mean, they, they, they make use of magic because yeah. they, they understand it's a weapon that they have to use. Yeah, yeah. Don't they just think they're better than other open races? Yeah. yeah. We got the book, and was the one before that one where we said Humanus Leader? Was there another one? Yeah, uh, the jailbreak of Humanus Leader. Um, it actually went very easy. <laughs> and then it was the book one after that. Yeah. I wasn't here for that. Uh, book, plumbing, whatever you guys want to call it. And so much money you I'm, not, you I'm not easily offended. But. <clears throat> so what time of month is it? It is end of April. But they can't. They can't. It's East, oh, Easter's already passed, huh? Easter's yeah. Passed. Yeah, I'm going to fast forward. So if you guys wanted to do any downtime stuff, go ahead. I only have five car mines characters. So Your name okay. is in Seattle, so my character's gonna have to drive there. She's okay with that. She used to see the world in the Indians. One mile at a time? Yeah. <laughs> characters are rigor, of course you can't drive there. Oh, absolutely. Take control of your own destiny, not let somebody else fly who That's doesn't right. know how to do it right. And if, uh, and if everything I've heard about how the planes are just open, that'd be a great place to just go as fast as possible. Yeah. I mean, who cares about uh, ground control telling me to slow down? I, I can stop at the runway. It does time for me. Yeah. All right, so what's going on? Um. <coughs> ah. Oh, thank you. No, pretzels. Actually, can I get a... Brownie with yeah, ice cream and sprinkles. Yeah, do you want any like chocolate syrup or caramel syrup? I mean that. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have a butterscotch? Yeah. Butterscotch, please. Okay. Um, regular brownie? Yeah. Cool. Caramel? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, did you guys want to spend any of this caramel? I only have five caramel, so. Okay. Remember, I still have to use my stuff. It's like all over my papers. It's like a mess. Three. It needs to go in there. How many spells can I have quickened? As many as you want. You just have to spend karma for each one. <laughs> and uh, the more spells you have quickened, the uh, brighter uh, flashlight you uh, have oh, yeah. on the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I think there is a limit, but I think it's like pretty high. I need to get free time. I think there is a limit to the number of spells you can have, but it's probably like a magic rate or something. Like that's great. I have. 
20 yeah, or so. Having quicken spell, quick spells on you mm -hmm. does make you light up like just kind of ass off. I do have. All right. Um, <coughs> so if you guys don't really have any. Yeah, I think you're ready. Okay. Um, yeah. You've got a call to, to meet at. Um, Alexander's and the Barons. It's a lovely Italian bistro. This is your GM, Jeremy, butting in for a real quick second. Wanted to describe for you this place called Alexander's. I've used this place before, and it's one of my favorites for the uh, meeting spots. Now, there's not really a lot of descriptions about the location, so I'll give that to you tonight. Here. Alexander's is located in the Redmond Barrens, if anybody else wishes to use it. It's a family bistro-style Italian restaurant, serving authentic Italian food, real food. Families come in from all over the Barrens to be able to get there. And the proprietor, Alexander, runs it more of pay what you can afford. So there will be families coming out for possibly the only real meal that they get in a week. And they may, in exchange for food, do dishes, work in the kitchen, help out with some of the other things that are going on, or work with one of the fixers who usually calls this location her operation. More about her later. But when you walk in, it's like walking back in time to someplace warm, welcoming, you know the food is going to be good, it smells fantastic, and your host is going to be a very happy, swarthy dwarf with a thick, bushy beard, usually a clean white shirt, and a smile bright enough to light up the, the, on the Matrix even. Uh, he meets, greets you at the door, he's got a wonderfully black, bushy beard, fantastic smile, welcoming, opening, white, silkish shirt, unbuttoned to show his very hairy chest, greets you with thick Russian accent, welcome to Italian restaurant. Um, <laughs> yes, everything handmade. We cook fresh, daily. He Don't tell my grandmother. He had a mood swing. He's not more Russian. <clears throat> as long as you guys have large portions. Oh, we have family size. It's fine. I mean, so I used to have one of those restaurants that uh, changes every few months. And recourse. Who are you? Uh, changes what? Well, I'm not Uh, yeah. not really. My brother I took me to a yeah, restaurant that every eight of those through rotations of different kinds of areas. Killer. That's kind of cool. It is. It's expensive, but cool. <laughs> 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 I'm also kind of friends. Um, Hello, how are you? What's up? What's nice happening here? Oh, it's it's family dinner night, so please come, come. He will. Are you guys showing up together? Or are you showing up individually? We're outside his, his We're just restaurant talking, talking We're just Japanese. Talking, like, yeah, okay. bad Japanese. We go up and like two dice or two ranks. Hey, 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 I've got like... Where's my... Hey, I got six. I got nine dice in Japanese. I got six. Question. Yes. Where are we at in the Barrens? Uh, you are deep into the Barrens, in the Redmond Barrens. It's like the area that you feel you need a tank to show up safely in. And within I like... Yeah, uh, within like a half mile of sure. this place, everything looks well, completely different from the rest of it. My question is this. Is I go here on the side contact with flashing lights all over it. He's an Auburn. Is that the other one? Yeah, uh, this is a yeah, I don't know Japanese. almost Are as far east Seattle? as you can go while still being considered in Seattle. you say that in Japanese? Yes. So, so yeah, all the girls just start speaking to Japanese. Yeah. I love the fact I never find Yeah, I was like, whatever, man. <laughs> I know that problem. Yeah. Doesn't matter the character so shape. Oh, 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 yeah, man, I only speak English in the work. And uh, you're obviously uh, not a 
Do you like standing out? Is that why you have all those legs? I'm not standing out. This is fashion. But you, this is everybody can see you. you. What's the difference? I'm not worried if people see me. Okay. Okay, so I'm missing a page. But I found this in my car, so I did bring it. It was just on. It fell on the floor. In my car. Okay. <laughs> so you, right. you guys would have a passcode to be able to, to know who to meet. I just wanted to know if you guys were showing up together. Or? I don't know I'm just talking to them. I, no, I know these guys. Here. Well, your fixer would have let you know. And he's yeah. poor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because we have dealt with this gentleman before, I yeah. suggest, well, well some of us have. Uh, this is the George guy, you know, very happy, free. Right. He gives people food for favors. Why don't you know he has good food? Sorry, food. Uh, so no, why don't no. we show up like yeah. half hour 45, half hour early and have a wonderful dinner so we can appreciate this cooking? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely showing up and eating. I can afford that. Mm -hmm. I don't care when I show up as long as the same time as you do so we can have the conversation. So, <laughs> when I have my forty five I want to eat and I'd be able to appreciate his love sure for cooking. Right at the meeting time because uh, I can't afford this place. <laughs> okay. It's a lifestyle, yo. Me too, but I just have money so I'm showing up and eating anyways. Well, you will notice that there are no prices on the menu because he w does one of those. If he knows the family, he will negotiate a lower price and whatever they can afford he is what they charge. Um, Which is why I have no problems paying his fees. <laughs> right. So, about uh, 7.30, um, an Amaranth elf walks in. Do you recognize her? Yeah, you, uh, those who have white, or white Owl would recognize White Owl. Those who do not have White Owl uh, see a fashionably dressed Amaranth elf walking in. I am White Owl. White Owl? No, I know White Owl. Oh, okay. I do. My character does. What kind of elf? Fashionably dressed. Yeah, and then the next word? Amaranth. What was that? American Indian. Okay. You know you saw a bunch on your way here. Before. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. You, you probably drove through yeah, her front yard. You probably did something stupid in some places because... You probably raised her cops. You probably raised her cops. Made them. Start giving it like pink stuff. Like you know, I got the price of the color projector, so it's like a hologram for you to start like decorating with different AR stuff. Okay. Yeah, <coughs> I ordered like some family size spaghetti and I'm just eating it up. They bring a bowl out and they're assuming that there's going to be more, so they bring a stack of plates. And a serving platter, would you like to use silverware or the serving fork to actually eat your spaghetti? No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm using that big fork it comes with. Okay, you're using the serving fork. This is fine. Yeah. Uh, I don't even go, oh my gosh. You've been civilized. Yeah, I'm you're yeah. actually <laughs> using this fork. I don't expect you to be a superhuman psychosis. I don't give a shit about nothing. Yeah, it needs a lot. So mm -hmm. I will have something nice in the <laughs> Okay. Uh, so White Owl will come in and will say, oh good, some of you are here. Here, Denise, you can share some of mine. Some of us? <laughs> well, Lawrence hasn't said yet whether he's... Oh, I'd come in. Okay. Ah, good. I just tweeted you. You turn into an owl. Hey, I've, I've knocked out and killed people. <laughs> Do not mock me. Because I would have followed whatever instructions the uh, okay. picture would have told me. So you're probably there. The meeting was at 7, so you guys are probably all walking in, what, uh, within 15 minutes of it? Well, I was going to text. I was going to tell people we've been here before. Very friendly dwarf. I know I'm going to be showing up a half hour early because he has really good food. <laughs> so <coughs> I'll bring you in, workers. Okay. So while you have enjoyed your meal, everybody else is starting to order, and plates are brought out. Uh, there is a appetizer tray of Italian finger foods that are brought out and set out on the table. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and a glass of red wine is poured for White Owl as she sits down. It sort of magically appears. Um, and Good evening. evening. Uh, the Johnson will be here shortly. I just wanted to, to have a moment to talk with you guys to find out how you are doing. I have heard a lot of interesting things from 
my various sources. This is a rather sudden job. I understand that the budget is somewhat tight on this job. If there is any shortcomings, I will be paying for the extra out of my pocket. <coughs> Thank you. This is yeah, you okay. Uh, I'm, I'm good without the sprinkles. <laughs> sprinkles are for winners. Sprinkles are for ice cream. <laughs> sprinkles are for and, winners. And, winners and cupcakes. Yeah, but I don't do cupcakes, so I'm good with not having them. That's why I eat a brownie with sprinkles. For the whole <laughs> so, can you by chance tell us anything um, useful when it comes to negotiating the price? Will we make more towards bartering, or? Well, I would love to, but she is right on time, so uh, I will let Ms. Johnson speak. And in walks a nervous human woman. Uh, her hair is tied into a braid, and she's wearing an ill-fitting business suit. Uh, uh, looks like she borrowed a suit for the meeting. And she is really nervous. This is probably possibly the first time she's done this. Yeah, if you guys do a judge intentions. Yeah. Is this the uh, client? Yes. Should I just be able to try to calm her down? Okay. Uh, I'm going to get up and start. Uh, do etiquette, please. Roll etiquette. Yeah. I got it. I walk over to her. Hi, how are you? I am Ghost. Why don't you come over here and sit down with me? <laughs> okay. Um, I see my desk are rolling below average as well. I roll an average as well. Two hits on seven dice. Yeah, one eight bad. Okay, that is. Okay, she has a very high class person walking out. Right? One, two, three. And it's mental? I think I've maxed it. Oh, yeah, I maxed it a while. Wait. I have four. Yeah, so social. Yeah, social? Oh, okay, which means I have like six successes. To try to calm okay. her down, like, I'm like, hi, how are you? And goes, why don't you come down and join us? Neat. <laughs> okay. So one of your party is very skillfully directing the Johnson down to a seat and doing the proper schmooze and, and meet and greet approach as well. Everybody else can tell that the, that the finger foods are tasty. Um, and that this... <laughs> Uh, this person probably has very little experience talking with runners. Probably runners in general, but more like adults. Okay. Uh, this person is on the younger side. Uh, is probably used to a very set life. Um, there's a routine. There's a rhythm, and anything outside of that just kind of throws her off. Uh, she's looking around like, I don't know where I am. I'm a little uncomfortable. Um, loud noises startle her. She's <laughs> always looking over at... Is she autistic? So basically, no, you're just, an introvert? Not exactly introvert. More like concerned so parent. How old is she? Like? Um, late 20s, early 30s. Just a question. What race is she? Yes. Okay. Um, she'll sit down and... Oh, have some food. Alexander is a wonderful cook. Um, is she hot? <laughs> yeah. You had one hit on judge intentions, so this is fair. Um, yeah, ish. I mean, not. Uh, no. Not one of your favorite. But potential. She gives off that school teacher vibe if that's kind of a, something that works for you. She's not near the kids, too. Um. That's because her boobs don't get paid on command. Well, remember, what was that business that you that we were messing with? What are you talking about? Um. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Hi, I'm enjoy some of <coughs> Just relax and go with the ride. <laughs> so, 
so yeah. Um, I need some stuff recovered. I'm not a kid. I'm an adult. See? We're awfully short for an adult. Do kids have these? Yes, they do. They pay for it. She's not wrong. <laughs> so, can we be serious? Not kids from the berries. I'm very serious. They don't have money like that. Like red flex start flashing through my hair. Uh huh. And I say, just order a kit. Oh my god, how are you? Hello, so pretty lady. lady. So I need some stuff recovered. Um, and I was told you that's guys. Your phone number? No, that's already Dang, covered. Please. Um, so I was told you guys could help with that. Um, this kind of happened today, so I don't really have a lot of a lot of funds together. This was just kind of all what we pulled together today. Um, but um, I was told you guys could do this. Is this the kind of thing that is normal? One second here. <coughs> that we can recover things? We can recover things very things? well. Yeah. What kind of things? A um, couple of files, a couple of possessions. Uh, how dangerous is it going to be? I don't know. Uh, sooner the better. You don't know if they're alive? <coughs> Most of the possession should be inert already. Okay. Files and possessions, what are the possessions? Um, random stuff, uh, supplies, coats, wallets, phones. So, you know, I can afford um, eight grand. Total or a piece? Total. That's real low. Uh, it is a little low. Well, it, it, it's <laughs> what we could afford, or what we could scrape up together in, on short notice. Three, or three successes, is you very much drawn to two. Uh, three successes on what? Uh, Judge and Judges. Yeah. I mean, clearly she's not told you everything, but... Well, she's not going to tell us anything until we say yes or no. Right. Is there by chance... Okay. Uh, I do understand this is a little low. For some of you all, the rare cost of living, would anybody just be... Is there any chance for any other form of profit on this? Um, I, I, I don't know. And while she's saying that, White Owl will give you a slow nod in the background. Yes, a little bit. I'm assuming that the, 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 the Miss Johnson, is she, uh, what ethnicity is she? Human. No, I mean, Oh. Um, actually. She like white, like looks like European heritage. Mostly European, um, black hair, so <coughs> Mediterranean, somewhere possibly Italian, possibly. Where does stuff get stolen at? Yeah, I think um, we are going to take the job. Now. Okay, it got stolen from a preschool. Uh, it was taken from the teachers. Um, so you guys will take the job? Yeah. Okay. I want to negotiate. I have to negotiate my intentions. I'm looking at her going, she doesn't have the money. White Owl said yes, there's other stuff in it for us. In my opinion, outside of game, if we happen to stumble across other things that we can take and sell, it's all on us. And that's extra profit. Oh God, I'm channeling Orissa. Here's the mission. Let's get paid for it. Oh, look, we have other opportunities right over here. <laughs> I wish the host did that. She sold everything. Okay. That's his thing, man. What so, yeah, she's uh, <clears throat> the job. Um, 
we work at uh, Welcome Hands Preschool, and they were just bought out by a company called Child Ahead, and they pretty much just kicked us out the door today. Um, oh, so the company that bought out. Yeah, we, we were all teaching, and they walked in and said, um, we're done, get out now, and they kicked all the teachers out. What was the company that bought out? Child Ahead Incorporated. And what was the original company? Welcoming Hands Preschool. Oh, okay. Do you know, do you know who owns Child Ahead? I, I don't know <coughs> enough about it. Uh, so, I just found out about them today. We didn't even know that the place was for sale. Um, so about 2 o'clock, they and they... Um, the, the owner came in and brought in his new teaching staff and a couple of guards and had us all escorted off the premises and we were told we were not welcome back. Well, they kind of look like him. And she'll point at Zane. Zane is a friendly person. He was meeting with a serving spoon. Eight. It's an orc. What do you expect? Very famous. For the right price. So, yeah, we, we've all been asked to leave. We, they closed the doors behind us, and we were... Uh, we tried to get back in, but then they called the cops on us. Uh, so, and the cops said that because we're no longer employees of the new company, we have to leave. Uh, we weren't even allowed to collect our things and go. And there are some files that we have of things we've done with some of these preschoolers that we can't leave there. We want these files recovered. Um, because some of them are special education services that we've done. Some of them are, are confidential parent-teacher communications. I mean, Jimmy's inhaler was there, and, uh, well, yeah, so, um, we, we basically just need you to go get our stuff back in our notes. Jeremy, have you been watching Leverage? I, I have been known to watch an episode or two. This is such a weird sounds like an episode of Leverage or Burn Lotus. No. Gee, I've, I've seen a couple of those, too. <laughs> They're actually good shows for, like, getting an idea of what Shadow is about, even, if, even though... There's no magic. There's no magic or... You know, well... Hmm. <clears throat> so you're trying to get your stuff back? Yeah. You really left behind eight grand worth of stuff? Well, it's... I mean, some I buy you some of the things are, like, the house keys, so we can't get into our houses. Um, and like the car keys and, and like all of our stuff because when you're when we're teaching you don't really carry everything you own when you go interact with finger paint right. <laughs> well, hey, you had a nice bag like this you wouldn't let it go are you still carrying the bag mm -hmm. okay. it's just the the bag. Bag. how is that a nice bag is it the bag this is it's high quality. <laughs> yes, it's high quality stink. Yeah, I can tell him stink has personality. No, the best part was he dumped out all the guns and liked the bag and took the bag. I, don't I thought them. that was the best <laughs> insult ever. I don't use, <laughs> I don't use guns. <laughs> it's right this conversation for the lady. It's fine. Um, pretty much, yeah, so... You mentioned that and she gets very scared. It's fine. Is there anything else that you can tell us about? Um, what about some kind of, is there any well, initial security they put in? It looks like they put in a couple of things, uh, but I don't know what exactly. And there's a couple of guards still standing out front. Uh, the police, every time one of us tries to go back and get our stuff, they call the cops on us, so we just don't stick around. But there's at least one security guard out front at all times now. I will text you while she's distracted. Could you do us a favor and start researching this child ahead? Um, how long are we going to be? Crap, map. Uh, Bellevue? Probably about 
if you need time, we'll get we'll decent make. section. And you know, there are good practices. Okay. <clears throat> you know, was, that was, wait, is that where both the childhood heads located? Is that yes. Where is the place that you operate located? Oh, that, that's where we uh, we are. The, uh, we've never heard of this place before, so we, I mean, we can't even do a search on it because, unless we go to the library, which needs a, a library card, which our stuff is inside, so we can't get into. Are these kids still going to the school now? I assume so, because they took over the educational profile and services. Why are these kids special? Oh, they're all special. I mean, like, are they have, like, you know... Well, all of their parents are like middle management. Okay. I mean, they don't got any skills, or they're just regular kids? Well, Jimmy can paint. Uh, their parents are middle management. Their skills are what they were born with. Oh. Oh, you're you know, designers and kids that can steal everything out of your pocket a couple seconds. That's skills. Oh, no, no, no. We do everything By we can way, to keep friend, that. We really uh, need to talk to, about returning that. that item. <laughs> So, I, mean, I still got that box. Yes, but why don't we return it and make them happy? You can make a friend. Mm -hmm. Now you have an enemy. I don't have friends. <laughs> we're gonna have to make a list of stuff that we're supposed to recover. Really? Um. Okay. Zane. I feel she will pull out a com link and start jotting down what she can remember and, and putting together First stuff. Personally, I think either that incorporated is a brand or something. Um, yeah, and the children are dangerous. Okay. I think the children are being really Seattle How long did that take you? Uh, that was one of the points of edge. You have not found any information on the company. Can I continue making an extended test? If, if you want to make an extended test, yes. Uh, this will take you like a half an hour. Also, figure out the, do you by chance have the address of your old owner so we can go talk to them? Um, well, the headmistress was supposed to be the owner. And she, last I heard, she was still there. She and one other person were the only two that were not escorted off the building, out of the building. What's her name? Um, Andrea Walker? Is this the only child place like this? Is there, I mean, I don't know if Seattle not on all of this. Was it, I wasn't sure if this was bought out, if they bought out a couple kindergartens. I don't know. I know that preschools get bought out Preschool. frequently, but we were this priding ourselves on being independent. This is awful. Mm -hmm. On 22 hits, you find a web page or the sixth world equivalent of it. Um, it's a fraud company. Make a judge intentions. I just made a <coughs> search to find the To find who? The address. Okay. So, Bellevue, get the name of it. I have a... That's enough to say that this looks... Uh, uh, Bellevue Health and Children's Hospital. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
So where are you from? I'm from Boston. No, no, no. Where do you live around here? Yeah, like if we cover your shit with where you going to drive Not where you born. Where do you stay? Uh, right now I'm staying with friends. Oh. Uh, well, we, we, yeah, I, I can call, yeah, you guys can call us. Um, here, use this number and she'll okay. pass out the number to the phone she's using. Uh, I'll give you guys a free judge intentions that uh, looks like White Owl is kind of coaching her. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to roll that. If you guys have four dice to roll, you guys can notice that, uh, yeah, the fixer is kind of coaching the Johnson on how to be a Johnson. And so I'm like, I'm looking at it, and it was really bad. It's one of the chatter where I'm just like, oh. it'll happen. <coughs> she, uh, You're not her mom. Matthew. Hey, you obviously need one. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> where? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Will you quit? See why I don't need no friends? I don't think you don't need no friends. I don't think you know how to be. No, I have no. Saint's a good friend. He's the asshole you want in your corner. Is <laughs> there anything else you can tell us? Um, well... Not much. They, they kind of look scary and I didn't know where else to turn. And, um, Did they have metal in them? Some of them. Uh, and Ms. Owl here said that she knew a couple of people who might be good for this, so... To get our stuff back and, and you know, she was right. This might be good for me. Oh well. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. Okay. Thank you. And she will get up and walk away as quickly as possible, holding her elbows. Um, and it looks like somebody outside pulls a car up for her. She gets in, and the car drives away. And go. Of uh, Mercury Comet. Hmm? The breadsticks. Pardon? Breadsticks. Okay. There are plenty of breadsticks left. While you guys were talking, they brought out more. Yeah, that, that, that uh, child was completely totally focused. I figure. Yeah. But he's not going to be focused. I had a very in depth search and couldn't find anything. Like anything that would be a front. Sounds like a shakedown. Yeah, it sounds almost. Yeah. Can you guys change? I wonder if it's about the kids. The kids, who will they know? Bribing the parents because the kids are special. I mean, if their parents are metal management. Yeah, and then if there's a lot of access. If they're something big, it might be. They're managers of a mega. Even a medium sized book would be a lot of money. Could by chance. Maybe we should go closer to that area. Yeah, some intel slash check to see if anyone. Where's the preschool at? There's security. Anyone there? Yeah, which is one of the things I thought that should be a problem, I'm sure. Oh, that's not a problem. I'm sure that the guy over there could do something about it. Say he puts people to sleep for a while. What do they wake up? No, he doesn't. They don't wake up. They don't Okay. I mean nice. As long as it's interesting and fun. Are you driving us over there? Sure. Personally, if they are a front company and if they actually do any harm to the kids, I wouldn't mind going after them on our own level for some revenge, but let's complete their mission first. Eight hits on the original daycare name here. See if there's a clientele list in the room. Uh, with eight hits, you can find a site for the original uh, company. It's a very small company. They look like they've been around for 40-something years under various owners. Um, don't find a clientele list, but they've got plenty of photos of families and kids, some of them stretching back until early 2020s. 
Um, some of them clearly show signs of having come up through Night of Rage. Uh, others are, you know, just last week and kids with paint on their hands and happy smiles and uh, blocks in the corners and somebody eating paste, which they clearly tried to keep them from doing that, but he just shoved his hand in the paste pot in one hand and is licking his, the paste up for the other. Probably. <laughs> uh, the only one I've seen is the one with the, the hand in, the, in the, the paste pot and the other one up his nose. Yeah, in the Firefox and the Chrome are fighting. Oops. <laughs> That was the um, sign. Sign that said that we're making a podcast of rum. Oh. Yeah, so it, it still says rum. We're all going to get our cracking shots. We're ready to go. Yeah, I just reckon that might be my favorite. Ooh. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do. If there are, it says rum, rum. <laughs> all right, well, I'll drive out there if anybody wants to go out there. I'm riding with you because that search was wrong. I was passed out in the back of the car. Okay. <laughs> I am passed out in the car driving. I died of party. I waved to you in AR. I also wrote you here. Yeah, I'll with you guys. I got drawn. Okay, what are you guys <laughs> where are you guys going? Um so that's why I was giving you guys. Okay. So <coughs> a place somewhat nearby that I can park a, a tank and nobody notice. Who um, riding in a tank? I have an air drawer bastard. Oh, tank. Oh, I need a helicopter in a tank. Well, you could park at the the McHugh's, but they won't let you go through the drive-through. Oh, that's fine. I'll just send you all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They have Sundays here. Um, I don't think we're going to go all the way straight up to there right now because uh, they see us coming. Oh, dang. Well, they made it to the moon, but anyways. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop here at the queues. Okay. Okay. Yeah, McHugh's. Well, you're in the parking lot from McHugh's. Did you guys want to go into McHugh's? Uh, no. No, no I'm still talking in AR. Okay. No, I think we're all just hanging out in the van. Well, this is at night, correct? Yes. Yes. It's... Well, you took about a half hour to do the... So, so like, quarter to eight? So, the drive-thru would probably be open if it's late. We can't go to the drive-thru. It's quarter to eight, then. Oh, no. I thought it was later, then. If it's busy, they won't notice. If it's not busy, they'll be knocking on the window. Do you think you can please care? Well, Night Eric might. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. Do you know the Eric is an illegal? I don't want to go yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't have the map open, but I believe this is a A. Yeah, th this is the kind of area where you don't see really uh, any street crime. Uh, you guys kind of feel weird, like the places actually look clean on the street. Uh, for those of you who, yeah, for those of you who have a low lifestyle, this is you guys are like uh, really above your normal lifestyle grade. The place doesn't look anything at all. Like everything looks super clean. Yeah, it's way above my. Yeah, you're, you're a little paranoid because everybody looks like. Off that you do not come from a nice area. Hey, hey, her suit's more expensive than yours. I know. So, five hits on what? Is that I'm wearing a suit? Matrix perception to see what's. What is this? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Who's there? Okay. Um. Okay. 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 Um, it looks like it's family night at the McHugh's. Um, See, it's, it's a father and daughter. We're going to get a, a ice how cream. How many people there are? Um, Let's not go there. Probably 50 to 60 50 people. <laughs> 60 people are 
No, not McHugh's. Oh, at the... Uh, at the daycare. Oh. No, I, I assumed you were doing this at the, uh, looking no, at the McHugh's. No, I'm sitting at the McHugh's looking at the daycare. Okay. Um, so it's like 60 million at the McHugh's? It's kind of weird from matrix signals coming out of the daycare. You can't really detect much. Uh, it's like somebody has blanketed the area in noise. Well, I'd be able to see it because of the noise. Yeah, it, it looks like a very large bubble of noise right over the, the daycare how, area. How large is the daycare? Uh, from the files that you guys have come up with, the daycare is kind of a small one. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of the how the seven the character was in the big room. Um, <laughs> but it's actually a little bit smaller than this place. Uh, keeping in mind the history of the meeple, yeah, it's a little smaller than the meeple. It's about like five minutes, so there's like a small, there's there cameras outside the front door. <laughs> uh, well, from where you're standing, you can't see any. Okay. But we're like downtown, is it like a, is the building that we're in, or is it like a part of a high rise? Or? It's a standalone building. Okay. Um, but you guys are maybe a block away, and okay. close enough to know that it's there, but not a direct line of sight of the place. What other buildings are in the area? There are a lot of professional buildings. Uh, some of them are multi-floor, but most of them are around the one to one and a half floor uh, size. Um, like I said, this is Bellevue, so it's they've got the money to be able to spend on so, a little bit of space around them. So can we see the like, playground, parking lot, maybe see all that stuff? Uh, from the front, you can see that there is a parking lot uh, and what looks like a little patch of grass, or looks maintained from what you can see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, uh, are you controlling it or is it? Okay, uh, give me a electronic warfare and logic roll. Oh. Would you like assistance? Why? Just asking. I don't know what I'm controlling. You just said electronic warfare plus logic. Yeah, but I can assist with electronic warfare. Uh, Okay. Um, there is active jamming going on, but you are able to find a clear channel through this. Uh, looks like somebody is very definitely blanketing the area <coughs> in white noise. I will pass that on to the deck. Sounds like passes. Those are leaving. I was going to go. Oh, okay. I was going to go astral. There's a lot of noise. The trying to jam stuff. Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, give me an ascensing roll. Okay, three hits is more than enough to discover that there is a spirit uh, watching and there are two people outside. Um, it looks like a mana barrier has been erected over part of the building. That's a lot for uh, daycare. Is it kind of odd that they'd be standing in security outside of a daycare like this? No, as you say, a hostage situation. That's why I don't know if the deputies can go in and see anything with the animals. So there's a hostage situation? Uh, what type of spirit? She thinks there is. Oh, I don't know. It could be. Uh, yeah, level of what? I'm looking at the <coughs> to spirit. Okay, go ahead and give me an assessing roll on the spirit directly. Can you just school at 8 o'clock at night? Possibly. You don't see any kids. I'm focusing on that noise to try to find out if there's a host or anything. Uh, four hits on a sensing. Go ahead and give me a... Uh, okay. And how aggressive is the spirit look? Looks like a spirit. Um, So the spirit doesn't have any Bioware implants. I don't think so. And it is a 4-6... Um, <coughs> yeah, it's a 4-6 spirit of, of man. 
six hits on a one turn four thing. Okay, there is no less than three white noise generators and one area jammer running. Well, white noise generator wouldn't go into the matrix noise. No, but it'll keep um, conversations from being heard. Is and it's. Are they all slave to a host or anything? Uh, they look like they are slave to a com link. I see two mages. Two guards out front. Oh, two guards out front, not right. mages. Okay. And a spirit out front with them. No. And are there uh, people guards out front working? Or, I mean, are they astral or no. material? No. Well, I know it's worked in the past. Just like when I'm walking around, exploring the area. I'm not going to cross them out of area. I'm just going to be like somebody passing through. <coughs> okay. Uh, as you go near, the spirit will watch you. Are you going astrally or are you going physically? I was going astrally. Okay. The spirit will watch you. The other two don't notice you. Okay. <coughs> it looks at you like you're made of meat. Oh, yeah. I taste it. So white noise generator would be a speaker. Essentially. The same, one has the sound of gently falling rain, one has the sound of gently falling rocks, another one has just nature sounds, and it's all clashing. Well, true, but a speaker can be used as a microphone. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. How much uh, noise points do you have for this? Uh, you've got a noise of three right now. Okay, I'm looking up. Oh, look, it's right there. Haven't had to roll this many dice for a while in a while. You said how many hits? Six. For a while. Okay, that's enough to get a mark on the on the generator. And you can feel the vibrations of the mark uh, resonating off of the um, cyber deck, or not on the phone that the generator is slave to. And it's coming from inside an area that the uh, jammer is covering. Which means I also have a mark on the phone. Right. I'll look at the phone. Uh, give me a matrix perception test. Take away two dice for noise. Does anybody else want to do anything? Yeah, I'm going to get out and uh, I want to, I guess, first. I want to take a look at the area okay. and see if there's any... I want to get like a good spot to maybe get a, a good view of the, of the daycare center. Okay, what are you wearing? Uh, I'm wearing an armored jacket. And, like, uh, probably, okay. Probably like um, blue jeans or a... Uh, okay. okay. Thank you. Good. Uh, so you will get a couple of looks with the armor jacket, but nobody actually stops you because armor jackets are not illegal. Yeah. But they stand out in the area for being different. Can I get a regular Coke? Yeah. Thank you. Hey. How many hits did you get? Four. Okay. So the comlink link is... A pulse wave. Um, you end up with one net hit from 
the matrix signature, but you still have the four net hits because you have a mark on it. Um, somebody is actively watching and using the phone, but they didn't notice your mark um, yet. It's running a couple of things, um, a couple of cyberware, a couple of gun items, um, and a couple of technological devices, including one of the white noise generators. When you say it's running stuff, or being used, like somebody's talking on it? Yes. Okay, you did find a spot to, to look around. All right. Okay, what I was trying to do is, I had a worldwide, and I just figured you were busy doing different things. I want to use the, yeah, I want to get you the audio. I was just going to walk through the area, act surprise, and kind of barrier there, and then look up and see if the spear, and I go, are you trapped or stuck for some of this? It will sort of growl at you, but it won't actually answer. Okay. It's kind of it's kind of indifferent to people around it, but it's almost hostile to everybody. Okay, so I take it. You must have been because you seem like the type that would. You don't like not one either. That's what I say. It, it just kind of non committally growls. So I'm gonna go sneaking. Okay. You have a lot of area to be able to hide in, yeah. uh, so take an extra two dice. Okay. <laughs> I will monitor the outside with my flashlight. Okay. No, I know it's more than that. Can you please play Queen? I got three hits. Kind of? <coughs> you got three hits, you said? Yeah. Okay, you feel reasonably sneaky. There's uh, plenty of cars to be able to hide behind. Um, in fact, the fly spy is having a hard time keeping a track of where your comrade has gone. What do I need to do to intercept that, to get that call and just send the other one? Uh, ooh, thank you. Yeah. So, Mark on the phone. Edit file. Not spoof command, but yeah, edit file. Which is computer? Yes. Minus when you got out, three dice two boys plus one because I have to be able to buy when that those people came outside the building. Yes. No, I'm not here to very close. Okay. And I was going to come back and say there's two guys and one very powerful spirit. See, I would have waited for another to come back for a minute before I left. Yes, I was relying on the information that yeah. we yeah. Yeah. I come back and I say there's two people, they're at this location, they're in the game, there's a pretty powerful spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Five hits? Okay. Yeah. Obviously it's solid people are in the game. Those people are, they don't have, they're not magical. Yeah. 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 Thanks for sticking with us for another episode. This is your host and frequent GM, Jeremy. At this time, the bar is closed, so we'll have to settle up our tab. The Tops Company Incorporated has sole ownership of the names, logo, artwork, marks, photographs, sounds, audio, video, and or any proprietary material used in connection with the game Shadowrun. The Tops Company Incorporated has granted permission to the Shadowrun podcast to use such names, logos, artwork, marks, and or any proprietary materials for promotional and informational purposes on its website, but does not endorse and is not affiliated with the Shadowrun podcast in any official capacity whatsoever. 
All other works mentioned on the Shadowrun Podcast are the property of their respective owners. The Shadowrun Podcast is recorded under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial 4.0 International License. If you have any questions about what that entails, please contact them at creativecommons.org. The music used on the Shadowrun Podcast has been Lee Rosevere. Lee's music can be found at bandcamp.com. The intro music was Glass Android. And the outro music was Max Flashback. The Shadow Rum Podcast is hosted digitally by the Relative Dimension as part of the Relative Dimension Podcast Network. You can reach out to them at relativedimension.com. You can reach the Shadow Rum Podcast through Twitter at Shadow Rum Podcast PDCST or via email at shadowrum.podcast at gmail.com. That's Shadow Rum, R U M, dot podcast at gmail.com. Again, this is Jeremy reminding you to please drink responsibly, follow the laws about drinking ages in your area of the world, and see you guys in the shadows, Shummer.